Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing Burns classifications. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this video will be what is Burns, what are the classifications of Burns, how to estimate total body surface area using the rule of nines in burns. Let's get into the topic. Burns are injuries to the skin and underlying tissues caused by various sources such as heat, chemicals, electricity, radiation or friction. The severity of burns can vary widely and can lead to complications such as infections, fluid loss, and systemic effects. Before entering into the classification, let's discuss in brief about the anatomy of skin layers. The skin is the largest organ of the body, serving as a protective barrier between the internal environment and the external world. It consists of three main layers, each with distinct functions. The outermost layer is called the epidermis. It provides a waterproof barrier and creates our skin tone. The middle layer is called the dermis. Dermis main function is housing blood vessels, nerves, hair follicles and glands, giving the skin its strength and elasticity. The next layer is hypodermis that is subcutaneous layer. It is the deepest layer composed of fat and connective tissue which insulates the body and cushions internal organs. Together, these layers work to protect the body, regulate temperature and provide sensory information. Now, getting into the classification of burns, let's start with first degree burns. They are also called superficial burns. Looking into the areas affected, the only layer that is affected in first degree burns is the epidermis, that is the outer layer. And how does first degree burns appear is, they are red, dry, without any blisters. Looking into the symptoms, first degree burns are painful, for example, mild sunburns, as we know, sunburn is nothing but a skin injury caused by overexposure to ultraviolet rays from the sun. In considering long-term damage, first-degree burns are rare in creating long-term damage and may involve only changes in skin color. Now comes second-degree burns. It is otherwise called partial thickness burns. Taking into account on the areas affected, the layer which gets affected in second degree burns will be epidermis and part of the dermis. How does second degree burns appear is, they are red, blistered, possibly swollen in some cases. Symptomatically, second degree burns are also painful, for example, Severe sunburn, scald injuries. Scald injuries are burns caused by hot liquids or steam. They happen when skin touches boiling water, hot drinks, steam or hot bath water, damaging the skin and tissues underneath. Now comes third degree burns. It is also called full thickness burns. Taking into account on the layers affected, third degree burns destroys the epidermis, dermis and also may affect deeper tissues. And how does it appear as third degree burns appear white or charred? Symptomatically, there is no feeling in the area due to destroyed nerve endings. Additionally, Third degree burns create possible extension that may damage underlying bones, 
muscles, and tendons. Some of the examples of third degree burns include electrical burns, example contact with high voltage power lines. Here, deep tissue damage along the path of the current potentially affects muscles and bones. Another example of full thickness burns are chemical burns. This may happen when there is exposure to strong acids or bases such as industrial accidents. Last comes fourth degree burns. Taking into account on the areas affected, fourth degree burns extends through the skin affecting bones, muscles and tendons. Discussing about the appearance, fourth degree burns are similar to third degree burns appearing as white or charred. When we look into the symptoms, in fourth degree burns, there is no feeling in the area due to nerve destruction. Examples of fourth degree burns include chemical burns that is exposure to highly corrosive chemicals such as industrial acids or alkalis. There is extensive tissue destruction that penetrates beyond the skin into muscles and bones. Next is how to estimate total body surface area using the rule of ninths. Total body surface area is a measurement used to estimate the extent of burns on a patient's body. It is expressed as a percentage of the entire body's surface area. Now, the rule of nines is primarily used to assess partial thickness second degree and full thickness third degree burns. These type of burns are significant enough to require medical intervention and fluid resuscitation when compared to first degree burns. How to estimate total body surface area using the rule of nines? The rule of nines breaks down the body into sections each assigned a specific percentage of the total body surface area. This follows as head and neck is 9 percentage, each arm 9% each, each leg 18% each, anterior trunk that is front of the body will be 18%, posterior trunk back of the body will be 18%, and perineum that is genital area will be 1%. Note that a patient's palm is approximately 1% total body surface area and can be used for estimating patchy areas. You can easily memorize this using 2, 9 and 3, 18. Let's look at an example to estimate total body surface area. A patient has sustained burns affecting the entire left arm, anterior trunk and both legs according to the rule of nines. Calculate the estimated total body surface area. First step here is identifying the burn areas and assigning percentages. So the left arm is 9%, anterior trunk that is front is 18%, both legs 18% each so adding 18 and 18 36% total for both legs. Next step is calculating the total body surface area burn which will be left arm plus anterior trunk plus both the legs that is 9 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18 which gives 63. So the total body surface area will be 63 percentage. So so far we have discussed what is burns, what are the classifications of burns and how to estimate total body surface area using the rule of nines in burns. So here you go with burns classifications. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.